working. Uh, I had been divorced. I had four children. I was putting them through college. I was working two or three jobs. Losing. In my RV handbook, this is just one of the many books that I have. I happened to be sitting at lunch one day and a fellow teacher who normally didn't have lunch with us came in and started talking to us about how he and his wife had gotten back from a vacation in their motorhome. And for some reason it intrigued me and I started asking him questions about an E10. What does that mean? Over time, the idea the seed planted in my brain, I began to look around at things that I had in my home and I realized that I was so lucky to have four gorgeous beautiful children and now I have three wonderful grandchildren that things weren't of no consequence to me anymore. Um, I wanted to live life and I kind of, I, I saw this and I'm, I'm probably going to plagiarize this but uh, I, I, I've embraced this saying I was tired of life living me I wanted to now live life for a living. When I was here last time and opened it up and there were, uh, they turned it off obviously, but there were bow weevils all over the freezer. And that, it was some uh, frozen enchiladas and I forgot to take them out. We used to go camping in tents and actually later on my daughter and I, I would pack up the car and we would go to a place called River Bend. Cool sunglasses. And it was the most rewarding, relaxing feeling. And I thought, gee, I want to have that feeling. And so I asked him about motorhomes, and we started talking about motorhomes, and and I got uh, you know interested in going to RV shows. And I started picking up magazines, and pretty soon I started uh, my weekends spending them going to Camping World and Holiday World and uh, just looking on the internet constantly for motorhomes. And so for four years I have been on this journey, um, and I didn't think it would ever happen um, for the mere fact that um, I didn't have enough money to retire, and heavens, how could I do this? How could I just chuck everything and move into a motorhome? My first big adventure, I think I'm going to go to Telluride. My daughter um, works for the tourist board in Telluride, Colorado, and so I'm, my first big adventure is to uh, take take my little nook, I call it, nook, uh, to, uh, to Telluride with my sisters. We always go on a sister vacation. I'm going to do kind of grasshopper trips throughout Texas because I've got weddings to go to and I've got grandchildren that I want to uh, spend some time with and and uh, my son is getting married in September and after that I'm going to wait, I hope to take off for the East Coast. At this point that's what the glory of this whole adventure is is that I don't have to plan that far in advance I can just decide what I want to do and do it.